So this bug that's hovering around right now, I am not sure what it is, but it took and it went inside of one of the stalks that I just cut off. I just cut it off because I thought it was some type of pest that was going up in there. I'm not sure what it is still, but it has been creating this it has been creating this uh, leaf cocoon inside of one of the stalks of um, my zucchini that I chop off. So whenever the leaves are going bad, I top off my zucchini like this. Now it's just running around confused or flying around confused. I don't know what it is. If it was friend or foe, I know stupid for me to do if I didn't know should have just observed absorbed it uh, observed it sorry um wonder I thought it was still in there when I went to go get the scissors I want it to land so I can get a better look at it This is really interesting because it seems like every section is kind of closed off with a little cap here. And it was like that for the back side of this se section right here too. Like when they roll it, I don't know what that is. you're like we don't know what it is either because you can't hold the camera still there's something else right there hmm. Not sure if those are eggs or but he rolled it up nice and neat it must be some type of eggs and babies Harvey. Hmm. Or perhaps what would have been food for the larvae. I mean, he rolled that up pretty nicely. She, it, the rest of this is feeling pretty thick too. But as you can see, each section has been like capped off. And this has been carefully rolled. I'd like to know what did this. I mean, it's good and tight. Like, dang, he was rolling a tortilla or something. Obviously, I don't know what any of this is, which is why I'm asking what, asking you guys to leave a comment on my findings today. But this is new to me. So it doesn't look like it's larvae. It just looks like it's some type of squashed up pollen that they've started at the base here, but it was mainly up this way. Um, it's mainly up this way started at the base and it was going upwards so it was capped off at the bottom stuffed in the middle capped off at the top and it repeated its cycle upwards in this pretty bouquet so 
I'd like to know you guys' thoughts on that. Obviously, I've been trying to figure out some pests in my garden. So anything that I don't know about, I try to Google lens it first and then see what they say on Google insect forms and so on if it's a friend or foe and I make my decision from that but I couldn't even see what the actual insect was because it was just buzzing around like hmm but yeah these leaves are perfectly cut and crafted for whatever it is it needed to do so this is wow So yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments there. <laughs> you think I was trash for messing it up? But at the same time, it was in my garden. I mean, look, this is like a perfect circle. And that was at the bottom. That was acting as a base. And look at how this was too. This bug pretty much made a perfect circle. I don't know how many people can draw a perfect circle, but here it crafted two perfect circles or three perfect circles um, of a leaf just to bring back into this squash plant and do its nest. That's so freaking incredible. This The circles are making the base right here. And I mean, they are the diameter it needs to be. That is crazy. So we have now four perfect circles. Five, because this is the base. To know that the insects have the intelligence of what a circle is and then craft it Y'all, come on now. <laughs> I mean, you think about intelligence, you think more so about mammals. You don't really think about the intelligence of reptiles or insects, you know? Because we always talk about how insects and reptiles act predominantly on instinct. But if that be the case, what taught it that? You know? what taught it what a circle was. Is this something that's ingrained? Amazing. It's like when you think about different um, people across the globe, even if we didn't have like transportation of ships or so on, everybody has some type of variation of a spear or a bow and arrow or like, uh, you know, a triangle like the pyramids of a sort and it's probably way beyond you know us as humans discovering one another so it's almost like that this is something that is universal across all creatures to know basic shapes I mean I would say this is kind of more rectangular in shape give it more of like that oval at the top but it's topped off oval wise but yeah unfreaking believable I'm pretty sure that fly right there is intelligent too <laughs> really creature <laughs> but all animals I believe is intelligent to the capacity it has to be certain animals maybe like insects and reptiles mammals have the uh, ability to you know compromise learn and everything of that sort figure things out I have these little critters these are actually moths I don't know if you can see them because of my cage it's a moth of a sort right there don't touch it it's poisonous I gotta get him off. There's two of them. Moth caterpillars. So, yeah, I'll just come out here in the garden and do a little bit of pest control. A little bit of garden maintenance in the mornings. Just got done watering 
about 11 or so close to 12 so it should give them plenty of uh you know plenty of water if you haven't seen my watering video go check it out pretty good got some predatory wasps around here searching for whatever but uh yeah gotta harvest that zucchini but um yeah so this is good stuff really good stuff like i said thoughts in the comments on what you think that was or is should i get rid of it i'm gonna wait for the comments and everybody to roll in to see what they say and maybe i'll just go ahead and cut the rest of them stalks off because what i do like i said is when the leaves of my zucchini are dying off i just cut them off at the ends here and i leave the shoot so it looks like that but the shoot is hollowed out so it makes plenty of space for whatever it is to get in there but new shoots are coming up from the uh or new leaves are springing up from the middle so the leaves that aided the plant in getting as big as it did in the first stages is now dying off with the new growth of it coming in um, for the future growth of the plant. So I was making room for that. Got to come and call off some more. But um, yeah. All right. Well, till the next update or video, stay wild, guys.